Hey guys, what's up? It's me here, Jay Parble. Today we're going to be reviewing the Valtriac V1. That's right, Valtriac V1 and Unicrest U1 uh, double pack for you guys. So first of all, you guys probably are going to want to know the packaging. Uh, it's basically the same. I did unbox the Kirby Skazu and Digirion Y2 double pack. So it's practically the same type of packaging. So it would normally display both of the bays up here. It has a cool picture of them battling here. It says Valtriac and Unicrest. Has the Beyblade Burst app thing, Beyblade Burst on the side here. A to A plus, they always say, and it's made by Hasbro. That's how you know it's legit. On the back, have a look. So that's Valtric V2 stats, and this is Unicrest uh, U1 stats. So, yeah. And the part for Valtric V1 is uh, DO5 and TA01, aka Wing and a Cell. And for Unicrest, um, it is D09 and TD01, aka Ring Defense. So, yeah, uh, Unicrest is a defense type and Valtric is an attack type. So, having a look at the two bays themselves, um, first off, we'll just have a look at Valtric and see how cool he is. So, yes, um, I do think that this Valtric does look pretty cool. I'll just get out my Karatomi Bay real quick. Just grab my bays out. Okay, so where is he? Okay, so here's the original one. Uh, this is the DX set version, so it does have a different color driver. Um, however, it is practically the same as the original, so uh, yeah, um, you guys can tell there is major differences between, uh, definitely there's some more yellow highlights up here, and of course the drivers um, definitely look different. This is more of a translucent aqua type color, and this is more of a um, dark sort of solid blue color so yeah that's practically the main differences in terms of color of course um, with the slope system of Hasbro's and the Karatomi's teeth so you guys can tell um, that there is a slope system for Hasbro and the Karatomi has the teeth system you guys can scan that code by the way in the Beyblade S burst app so yeah have fun and yeah, so this is Valtric V1, that's the wire. And woof, I don't want to get these mixed up. Hold on. Okay, so the discs practically are the same. This is just uh, more gray because this has been used a lot more. It's more oxidized uh, than this newer one. I have used this one a lot, but um, it's not really as gray as this one because I've been using this one for about a year now. This one's like practically brand new. Two days old, so yeah. And the driver. Now you guys can tell with the driver. Um, this is more of a semi-flat, and this is more of a flat point skip. So yeah, so basically the same thing. Uh, this, the difference, basically the main difference, and the top has a just like the car to car chain. So yeah, we'll pop the Beyblade together, and uh, yes, that's Valtric V1. And Unicrest U1, I do not have the Takarotomi version of this because that is way too freaking expensive to get that set. Um, but this is a cool bay. I do like it. I actually don't mind the colors of this bay. Um, now, I know a lot of people don't like this bay, don't like the base color. I personally do like the base color. I like how this gold looks on the, on the um, sides here. I reckon they look pretty cool. Uh, and I really like how um, the white here sort of like it's sort of like the green fades out into like white and I reckon that looks cool in the middle so I don't mind that and the unicorn's eyes um, do look pretty cool in gold and of course the horns on the sides here are green to try and match the center so that's pretty cool um, this is my first ring layer and by the way if you guys do want to scan the code uh, you guys can scan that in the best app and uh, yeah it is more of a white color here anyway here's ring uh, Ring, yeah, this is practically the same as Karatomi, um, but the thing I like about Ring is that most of the weight is sent is on the outside of the blade, so that's pretty cool. And of course, has R for Ring. And defense is practically the same as Karatomi's defense. So I'll just grab out my uh, Spring and Heavy defense here and grab out my de Karatomi defense. It's practically the same. Uh, there's no real big differences. I can't really tell anyway. So yeah pretty good it's pretty spot on to, to Karachami's defense so yeah we'll pop these the space together and uh, yeah we'll go and have a little battle in the stadium so I'll see you guys at the stadium 
So first of all, we're just going to have a battle between the two blades in the set. So here we have a Unicorn Ring Defense or Unicrest Ring Defense. And here we have Valtriac Wing Cell. It does look like Valtrix losing a lot of spin power, but I think that Valtrix might be able to win this. And he did! Valtrix did end up winning that battle. So, yes, Valtrix is in front on the score of 2 to nothing. And we're gonna do it up to 5 rounds. So, yeah. <sighs> Round 2! Unicrest, that is indeed Valtriax point, so he is on four, and Unicrest is on nothing. This probably will be the final round. It probably will be, um, but if Unicrest somehow wins a point, that would be pretty impressive, I think. So, yeah. Quite possibly the final round. That is a six to nothing victory to the Valkyrie or Valtriac Wing Cell. This is the first rendition of Valkyrie or Valtriac. So yeah, this is pretty cool. We're gonna pop it up against Karatomi's version of uh, Valkyrie Wing Cell and Valtriac. Uh, yeah, Wing Cell. So yeah, let's go. Karatomi is speeding first. That was not a very good spin, sorry about that. I'll do it again. And Valkyrie Wing Cell takes Round number one with the score of one to nothing. Round number two. Let's go, Valkyrie. And that is Valkyrie's point. No, Valkyrie X point, sorry. That is Valkyrie X point because he bursted Valkyrie before he did his burst. I'm not sure if you guys were able to see that, but I surely did. Um, I saw it in the I saw it in the corner of my eye. That was actually Valtteri X point. So Valtteri X is now in front on two to nothing. Valtteri X now in front on the score of two to nothing. The one I meant. Redo. 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 Uh, this is definitely going to be a bloopers at the end of the video. There you go, battle. Double burst! Wow! Okay. The score is still 2 to 1 with the Hasbro Valtriac in front. I'm going to be launching these with all my might. Let's go! Valtriac! Wow, so much for all my might. Let's go, Valkyrie! Valkyrie! I can't believe this! What? A burst finish! That is a clear burst finish to Takara Tomy's Valkyrie! Valtriac Wing SL is on four, while Takarotomi is on one. Round, I don't know which round it is, I think it's round 
actually so wow that is insane we're going to just pop them and pop them up against a bunch of burst bags so uh wyvern armed massive or wyvern armed massive versus unicrest ring defense let's go wyvern let's redo that launch that was a bit late wyvern you're a What driver I'm getting first? Alright. <laughs> Unicrest wins that battle. He's on two. And Wyvern's on nothing, of course. Unicrest. Going down, Wyvern! No, go Wyvern! Yeah! Everyone clap for Wyvern! Yes, he won a battle with a survivor finish. He was about to burst. Wow. He finally won a battle with a survivor finish. Let's go into whatever round it is. I don't care. Round three. Let's go. And Wyvern! Wyvern, no, no, don't get into those big battles. You know you're gonna lose if you do that. Wyvern, no burst, no burst. You burst in no! <laughs> Alright, Unicrest is on four. Wyvern's on one. Thankfully, Wyvern actually has a point. Wyvern does not burst. I'm genuinely going to be amazed if this battle goes to Wyvern. 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 Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. And Unicrest takes it with another burst finish. Six to one is the score. Wow, that is intense. Okay, so Unicrest was the winner of that battle. We're just going to do a bunch of battles. These are just going to be like out of like one or two. I'll probably just do one battle between uh, these two. So it's going to be uh, Valtriac versus Doom Sizer. Let's go. Ugh. I'm gonna have to edit this a lot. Rip me. And Valtteria gets wrecked by Doom Size. And Doom Size is just abused Valtteria's layer. Wow. That is, that is just abuse there. Come on, Doom Size. You know better. Gosh. Come on, Valtteria. Oh, and a double burst. We're gonna leave it at that, guys. We're gonna leave it at that. I know it's bad for you guys. You guys might hate me for it, but I'm gonna leave it at that. Yo, whoa. let's just let's just leave it at that. Okay, guys. So we're gonna get into the overview of this double pack now. Let's go. So overall, guys, I really did enjoy this double pack. It's a really cool double pack. I really do think that this uh, Valtriac layer actually performs pretty well. I really actually, I actually don't mind the colors of the set. I just think that this Valkyrie um, doesn't really, um, this uh, yellow up here on this Valkyrie doesn't really look that good. 
that's the only complaint I have on the colors. I mean, like, I actually dig uh, the green sort of like fading into white. I actually like that. And just gold going around here on this uni crest. So, really cool. You, it also comes with some pretty decent parts. Like, ring and defense are really good parts. Actually, they're actually pretty decent. And uh, Excel is pretty cool. And wing is awesome as well. So, yeah. Um, I actually don't mind the colors on this set. And I think it's a pretty cool set. So, you should pick it up if you find it and you have enough money you guys should probably pick it up it's a pretty nice set so yes thank you guys so much for watching this review if you guys did enjoy it make sure to hit like and subscribe until next time it's jay pineapple signing out peace i also wanted to let you guys know that i will be getting some new bays in the mail i have ordered a takara tomi beyblade burst excalibur force extreme um, and that will be coming with a stream launch. So that, look, that looks freaking amazing. I'm going to be getting that in the mail in a couple of weeks. So stay tuned to review of that. And not only that, but I also ordered a Lost Longinus or Lost Longinus or whatever. Lost Longinus. Whatever you wanted to pronounce it. Um, it's the first left spinning bay in Beyblade Burst history. So that is amazing. I'm going to be getting that guy in the mail soon as well. And he will be freaking amazing. It's got metal on the layer. It looks like an amazing day. So I'm getting two amazing bays in the mail. And also... For those of you guys that are interested in my action figure part of my channel, I will be also be getting the Marvel Legends Deadpool. I've also ordered that and it's going to be coming in uh, very, very soon. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for reviews of that, of those guys. And uh, yeah, um, I think Deadpool will be coming uh, a little bit soon because it's actually being shipped from, uh, um, I think it's another state in Australia. So uh, yeah, it's freaking amazing. Um, so yes, guys, we've got some awesome stuff coming out on my channel. So stay tuned, guys. So yes, I'm very excited. You guys should be excited too because I'm going to be reviewing all this stuff that's coming. So yes, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit like and subscribe. And until next time, it's Jay Pineapple signing out. Peace on the street night.